In today's video, we are going to talk about on why do cats bite? And how to stop them from biting you. It's never a good thing when your cat is biting. It's not just painful, it can potentially be dangerous if left unattended. Many cat bites require medical attention and can quickly become infected if left untreated. Declawed cat. Cat biting is more common in declawed cats. Declawed cats are more likely to bite than cats who have claws. Cat biting hand. Why does cat biting occur? So how do you prevent your cat from biting? First, identify why your cat may be biting in the first place. Cats bite because they are fearful, stressed, or frustrated. They do not act out of spite or anger. There is always a good reason, in their mind, behind the behavior. It's also important to note that declawed cats are more likely to bite than cats who have their claws, as their main defense mechanism has been taken away. Common reasons cat bite are Overstimulation Play aggression or frustration Fear, pain, and stress Communication Overstimulation In order to keep yourself safe, it's important to recognize subtle cues that a cat may be becoming agitated. Many cat owners don't realize that their cat has already given them several warnings before a bite occurs. When petting and interacting with your cat, look out for Twitching tail or skin Flattened ears Dilated pupils Head or eyes turned to look at your hand Stiff body Whiskers forward These are all signs that your cat is becoming overstimulated with too much petting or attention and needs a break. For many cats, just the act of petting and stroking can be so stimulating that it can be hard for them to calm back down and behave appropriately. Play aggression Play aggression is most commonly seen in kittens or young adults who are the only pet in the home. Play aggression is most commonly seen in kittens or young adults who are the only pet in the home. It usually occurs when the cat has been separated from his siblings at too young an age. It's characterized by your cat ambushing your ankles as you walk around the corner or biting your hands and feet seemingly out of nowhere. When a kitten has a sibling or friend to play with they are able to teach each other how to play appropriately. When you see two kittens wrestling and squealing, they're learning from each other just how many teeth and claws are acceptable during playtime. If a kitten isn't given that outlet, they have to learn bite inhibition from humans instead. Here's how to get a handle on your young cat's play biting. Avoid using your hands to play with your cat. It can be adorable to scratch your kitten's belly while they kick and bite, but when they grow up to be adult cats, that same behavior isn't cute anymore. If your cat is insistent on gnawing on your hands, have a small stuffed toy on hand that you can encourage them to bite instead. If you're bitten, to the best of your ability, stay still and don't react. Put your hands behind your back and stand up. Completely ignore the cat's bad behavior, and redirect their attention to an appropriate play outlet such as a feather wand instead. Repeat as necessary. Some cats will respond to a high-pitched, ouch. This sound mimics what a kitten sibling would make during too rough play. Most cats with play aggression bite out of frustration and boredom. Adding structured playtime to your routine of 15 minutes twice a day in the morning and evening can work wonders. Consider adding food puzzles and enrichment items like cat trees and cardboard boxes to your home as well. Cats love variety, so don't keep the same toys out all the time. Instead, rotate their toys and keep cats interested in their environment. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Fear, pain, and stress. Have you ever noticed that your cat acts differently at the vet? Your cat who is a perfect angel at home turns into a terror when you try to get him inside his carrier to go for that dreaded car ride. It's not that he's doing it on purpose, it's much more likely that he's afraid. If you put your cat into a new or scary situation, they're much more likely to bite. If you know that you have a vet visit coming up, or that there will be a major life change like a move to a new home or a new baby in the house, you can take some simple steps first to prepare your cat to make it as stress-free as possible. Teach children how to properly interact with your cat. If they are handling the cat roughly, chasing him until he feels cornered, or even just running around and being loud like kids do, your cat might feel pressured to bite. Allow your cat to have a safe spot in your home where he is not to be bothered and make sure kids and other visitors understand this. If your cat becomes very agitated when it's time to go to the vet, you can teach your cat not to hate the carrier by leaving it out in the open, not hidden away in a closet until it's time to go, and filling it with soft blankets and yummy treats. Soon your kitty will learn that the carrier is a good thing and he won't mind going inside. If your cat is suddenly biting you when they haven't before, it is most likely pain-related. Cats are experts at hiding pain, 
so he may not show you any other signs that he's hurting. Any sudden change in behavior, including biting, should be addressed by a veterinarian immediately. Know your cat and be able to recognize his needs. Cats are stressed when they are hiding constantly, over grooming, not using the litter box, hissing or growling, or even trying to bite. If your cat is constantly stressed to the point where he is biting, you should talk to a certified cat behavior consultant or your veterinarian for help. Communication. Lastly, cats can use biting as a communication tool or a means to get attention. This type of biting is often the least severe, think love nips when you stopped petting your cat when they want more. If your cat nips you and you keep petting him, that bite worked. He got what he wanted. If your cat's biting is more of an annoying behavior to communicate that he wants something, it's easy to fix. Simply ignore your cat. Get up and walk away. When the cat is sitting calmly and not nipping, then give the cat what they want as a reward. Appropriately respond to cat love bites. Studying your cat's body language is one of the best ways to learn how to appropriately react and prevent future occurrences. Watch for signs of discomfort, such as ears to the side or a twitching tail, and stop petting if these are seen. Pet parents should notice if the cat biting stops when the cat is being petted with more frequency, or less. The owner should then respond appropriately before the cat bites. Thus, if the cat typically bites after 5 petting strokes, the owner should always stop at 4 strokes. It also recommended that people always invite their cat over to interact, rather than approaching and handling a sleeping or resting cat. And focus petting on areas that cats generally enjoy, such as around the ears and under the chin, and avoid petting cats on their bellies or near their tails. Never react negatively to cat biting. The owner should never scruff, shake, spray or frighten the cat in any way, this can cause the cat to respond with true and dangerous aggression. If a cat bites you and breaks the skin, be sure to wash the wound immediately. Look for any swelling, pain, or redness that spreads. If you see any of these, see your doctor or go to a walk-in clinic. Love biting is a common behavior in cats, but one that can be managed by studying your cat's body language, learning to redirect undesired behaviors, and respecting her tolerance for contact. Do not punish your cat. Always respond calmly and do not further escalate the situation. Research shows that punishment, including yelling, squirt bottles, scruffing, and physically hitting your cat is not effective and the cat does not learn from it. The cat is unable to make the connection that the punishment is the consequence of him biting. You should ignore any unwanted behavior and praise good behavior. Any type of negative reaction will only damage your relationship with your cat further. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.